I swallowed a pregnancy test when my husband unexpectedly walked into the bathroom. Are you all right? I silently nodded in response. After that, I urgently went to the clinic to see my mother, who was a gynecologist. Finally, you are pregnant. Five to six weeks. I couldn't share my mom's joy. I didn't have anything with my husband for three months, as my Leo was on a long business trip. I won't judge you. Let's just pretend that the child is his. I was faithful to him, and I truly didn't know how I got pregnant. So, I decided to hide my pregnancy from my husband, until I figured out what happened. That same day, Leo invited me to go see a movie. We used to watch horror movies. But now, everything that looked abnormal made me sick. I ordered to keep the charade. I insisted in a romantic comedy. But it was still hard to hide my condition. I got shortness of breath just from going up the stairs. And during the movie, I fell asleep. Leo noticed it, but concluded that I was probably just tired from work. So he gave me a couple's voucher to a spa. <laughs> my old swimsuit would have immediately revealed that my body was changing. So I bought a new and less revealing one. You look great, honey. Leo liked it and I finally relaxed. At least until he invited me to the sauna. Which could seriously harm the baby. I flatly refused. And Leo claimed to have understood everything. It was not a good time for that. And I still had no idea how to justify my pregnancy. I understand why you're not fond of it. You're expecting a more significant gift. He said he got the hint when I chose a family movie. Leo also said that he had earned enough money for a house. Which was why his last business trip took so long. My husband said he was ready to become a father. And my silence could have kept me out of trouble. However, I couldn't lie to Leo and confess that I was pregnant. But that I had no idea how. Leo was stunned. The next morning, I stood on my mother's doorstep, crying, holding my suitcases. I told her that Leo had left me and I wanted to get rid of the baby. She was angry with me and warned me that she had done way too much for that pregnancy just to let me end it. Upon seeing the medical vial in my hand, she swiftly grabbed it. I have to approve all the medicine you take from now. I won't let you ruin this project. Having heard what I came for, I stopped pretending that I was crying. It's glycerin. I wasn't actually crying. I used it to fake the tears. It was all a show to expose my mother. After I told Leo everything, he didn't leave me. He supported me. I trust you 100%. Let's put our heads together and figure this out. 
we recalled how my mother once handed me a pamphlet. On how women can get pregnant without a man. <laughs> and just before Leo went on his long business trip, she insisted on an unscheduled examination. She asked me if I was willing to become a mother without Leo's participation. But I replied with a categorical no. Okay, let's wait for God's blessing then. When confronted by the facts, my mother gave up and admitted that during the examination she performed artificial insemination. Someone had to take the responsibility. With Leo so indecisive, I would never become a grandmother. I finally heard what I wanted and decided to set some personal boundaries. My body is my own business. I gave birth under the supervision of another doctor. And told my mother that, from that moment on, our communication would be significantly limited. She had to understand that my family and I are not her property. A year later, my husband and I welcomed another child. And much to Leo's credit, he has always loved them equally. As for me, I never regretted being completely honest with him. <laughs>